Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another video in our cPanel tutorial series. In this video, we're going to show you how to create an email address from within your cPanel. Now the first thing you want to do is log into your cPanel as I've done here. I'm right here at the main page, so when you first log in, this is what you should see. Next, we're going to locate the mail category. By default, it should be right up top under the preferences, but as you can move things around the cPanel, yours may vary. You'll see a lot of different icons here regarding what you can do with the mail and the different mail accounts. But the one we're interested in is the email accounts icon, which is normally located in the upper left-hand corner. Go ahead and give that a click. And it brings us to the email accounts page. Now at the bottom, you'll see a default email account. This is not used for day-to-day -day email. If you run PHP scripts or something like that that sends email out from the server, this is the default account that it's sent from. But for day-to-day -day operations, that's not what it's used for. The list above it, which there are none in there yet, is a list of all the email accounts that are on the cPanel. Since we don't have any, we're going to add one. To add an account, just go to the top under email and give it a new name. We'll create one called test. Next, you're going to put in a password. Now you can type your own password in. And you got to make sure that you confirm it by typing in it again. And you can see that my password I picked is OK. So I'm you know, about halfway up. I can make it a little more complex by adding a couple of things to it. It's a little stronger. But if you really want a good password, you can use a password generator. This will create a very strong password for you. Be sure to write it down because you probably won't remember exactly what the password is just offhand like this. But once you're good, go down and check the quota. Now it starts off with 250 megabytes. This is usually more than enough for most people. You can increase that if you like say to you know, 500 or even 1,000, and maybe more. Or you can select unlimited. I don't recommend getting too crazy with it because it can lead to um, server resource abuse or server resource uh, usage. And that can be a problem later and you have to go back in and clean it out. So 250 is a good starting point. Once you've done that, click Create Account. And then you'll see this nice little message here that says accounts created. You can close it if you like or to close on its own. And now you notice that my new email address is down here in the list. Of course, you can make as many as you like. That's how you create an email address within the cPanel. Thanks for joining us for our cPanel tutorial series. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section below so we can bring you future videos. Thanks and see you next time. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.